Okay, it works. All right. Well, welcome everyone to our first director bound call. So today is October 3rd, 2016, and we're just so excited to help you guys get started with the first step of going for directors. So my name is Claudia Bazaar for anyone that hasn't met me yet, and I'll tell you a little bit about myself as well. But this is basically a new program helping you to go for that first level of leadership with Pamper Chef, and basically just working smarter, not harder. And we just, we're just so excited and we just can't wait to celebrate all your successes along the way. And if your phone is ringing, just mute yourself on the bottom left. Thank you. Um, okay, so again, my name is Claudia Bazaar. Um, I've been with Paper Chef for six years, and um, I originally started just to make a little bit of, you know, extra money. And when my husband told me that unless I make five hundred dollars a month, this is considered a hobby, I accepted the challenge to show him. And um, here we are, six years later, still doing Paper Chef. Um, full time, you know, bringing in about between four to five thousand dollars a month. So I have done this um, being pregnant. I've done this uh, with a full time job on the side. And now this is just my sole income. So just so you guys know a little bit about myself. So the first thing I want to do is I want to go through the ground rules for this group. So basically, if you have not introduced yourself yet in your group, whether you're in the fast track group because you're in your first 90 days or whether you're the direct bound group because you're past your 90 days, um, just introduce yourself and share underneath the picture of the why, why you want to be a director and what that would do for you and your family. We want you to participate in our weekly training calls that are going to be every Monday at 12.30 p.m. Eastern Time. And of course, we understand that not everyone can be on live. So what we ask is that you just watch the playback within 48 hours, and then I'll post a recording. And under the recording, you guys can post your three takeaways from this weekly training that we're doing. So today will be more a little bit of you know, how this whole program is going to work, but the next couple calls will be training, training, and then you guys can post what you learned. We want you to post um, your results of the homework. We want you to post um, your excitement, and we just want you to be actively participating in the group you're in, whether it's commenting, whether it's cheering people on, whether it's sharing success stories or sharing any ideas, things that you've tried out that work for you. And the other thing you're going to do is you're going to set up weekly calls with your director and talk to them, preferably after every show, before and after every show, um, and talk to them about every recruit lead and just set up weekly calls. So that could look like every Monday after this call. That could look like every Monday night. Whatever that might be, make sure you reach out to your director um, and set up those weekly calls starting today. That's the only way we're able to help you if we know what's going on in your business. Um, we will also be posting your stats in the group every week. So when you commit to promoting to director, we will be posting everyone in the group. We will post you know, how far they're away, how their sales are, how many recruits they need, and everything like that. Um, Holly, do you mind muting yourself on the bottom left? Excuse me, clarify your address and date of birth for me. Is that Holly? Or, okay, that's I think who it was. So we will be posting your stats. So that way, if you you know if you find yourself with someone um, you're really liking on this program and you want to buddy up with them, you can kind of keep each other you know accountable. And you can also say, hey, oh my God, you're in the same boat as me. Hey, let's schedule a call and see what we can do. So just so you know, we're going to be very transparent and post all your numbers and all your leads out there. The other thing we're going to do is we're going to have Wow Wednesday. And basically, we're going to post a cute picture every Wednesday, and we just want you to share something that you did that you're proud of, um, something that you tried, something that um, you, you did a new training, just something that wowed you that week that you're proud and excited about, and just share, share it. And that could be, you know, totally different things. For someone that could be recruiting three people, and for someone that could be doing their first cooking show. So whatever that might be. Um, and basically, you know, this program will start every beginning of the month. And, you know, if you 
don't participate, if you don't do the calls, if you, you know, don't do the homework after the four weeks, so by the end of October, we will then go ahead and remove you from the program. And when, when you're ready to come back and you're, and you're ready to work for this, we will put you back in the program. You just got to ask your director. So is there, are there any questions about the ground rules of this program? No, everyone good? Okay. Um, so before you decide you want to go for directorship, you really need to think about why. So why do I want to be a director? What can this do for me and my family? What would I do with an extra thousand to two thousand dollars a month? And who will be most proud of me when I achieve that? What would that feel like being celebrated at my next team meeting? Because there's going to be bumps along the road and unless you have a really really strong why of why you want this to push you over those bumps you might want to quit so we just want to make sure that you really think about why and just kind of dream you know dream big so what would that look like if from now until december i brought in an extra thousand dollars a month you know would i be able to buy my kids whatever they want for christmas what you know how would that feel like and just really think about that so after this call just really write it out take a couple of minutes um, and feel free to share that on our why page as well and you know directorship is not something that just happens okay unfortunately maybe some people get lucky but it's not something that let's see if it happens and then we'll go from there. It's really something that you have to determine in your head, this is what I'm gonna go for this month and I'm gonna work very, very hard to get there and push those puzzle pieces together the way they need to be pushed together. So, you know, if you have decided that October is your month, then print out, you know, a cute little picture with five people and all the requirements and decide that this is your month and you are gonna make it happen. And you know, if for some reason it doesn't, it's not like you lost anything. You probably have more shows, you probably have more recruits, and we'll try again next month. But we just want you to know that if you tell us that this is what you're going to do, that we will push you towards this goal. We will work with you. You are going to, you might get to a point where you're like, oh, this is not going to happen. And we might not want to hear that <laughs> because we know that you decided to go for it. And it's, it's our goal as your leader to really believe in you and believe that you can do this and anyone can do this anyone on this call can be the next director on the landing team no doubt so all right let's go over the ground rules of you know what do we need to promote to director so we need five active team member meaning you have to have five team members on your team. Now, you don't have to recruit all of them. You could go, maybe you already have some, or maybe you're gonna go out and recruit three, and now those three maybe bring in two more, there's five. So one way or another, you need five team members on your team. And if you're going to promote in October, you need all those five people to be active, meaning they need to have at least $150 in sales, which most of them will because they're having, you know, local launch parties, virtual launch parties, anything like that. So of course, the earlier we can bring them in in the month, the more time we have to get them active. The okay. other thing you need is you need to personally sell at least $750 and your team overall needs to be selling 5,000. Okay, 750 is just the minimum. You're probably gonna sell at least half of the 5,000 yourself with your show schedule. So again, five team members, they all five have to have $150 in sales and you as a team need to sell 5,000 total. So does anybody know what benefits directors get? Anyone have any ideas that they want to shout out? Any cool things you're looking for? We probably don't have enough. Say that again? We probably don't have enough time to tell them all. <laughs> we probably don't have enough time to tell all of them. Well, what are some things that you're excited about? Um, helping other people get to my level. If I'm a director, I'd love to see get others to my level. And the income and the, the long-term income, it's not just, you know, this month, it's forever as long as you work it. Right, exactly. So when we treat it like a business, we'll get business results, right? Um, so what are some benefits that directors get? Does anyone know? Or you're uh -huh. just... Free product. 
free product. Mm-hmm. Yes. So all the new fall product that just were released, except the Rock Rock XL, will be showing up at your door probably around November 10th when you promote this month. It's really, really cool. Um, what else? Bonus increase. Okay, yeah. So you get extra money, right? Um, 3% bonus in pay, Ryan says. Yeah, what about Pamper Chef dollars? Do you know how many Pamper Chef dollars you're going to get? $250. Not a hundred, two fifty. So you can buy the Rock Rock XL and have all the new fall products. <laughs> but you know, um, if you're still a new consultant, you know that pam- you're still earning Pamper Chef dollars. You can use them for supplies, products, anything like that. So um, all the new fall products, two hundred and fifty Pamper Chef dollars, extra overrides, extra bonuses. Um, one of my favorites is something that you, yeah, Jason, go ahead. Reduce trip points. Reduce trip points, yeah. So if you guys, hey, we still got time. We got three months to earn a trip. So it's definitely possible and directors need less points for that as well. Um, one of my favorites is home office leads. So if you don't know what that is, is basically when someone goes to paperchef.com and they don't have a consultant and they just shop online and they, um, you know, they're in your area, Pamper Chef will send you their orders. So basically you're getting just extra sales every month. And right now is the prime time for that because October, November, December, people are holiday shopping. And I mean, I've had months in November and December where there's like 700 plus dollars in orders just coming in. Also, if someone is looking for a consultant to either join their team or host a party, only directors show up on that lead system. So that is a very big, um, important thing to be on there as well. So, um, and if you are within your first 90 days, Ryan is asking, is the $750 personal sales monthly or career? No, you have to have at least $750 in sales for the month that you want to promote. Um, and if you're in your first 90 days, you're also eligible to earn a $500 cash bonus as well when you promote your director by, you know, by your 90 days end date. And if your 90 day end date is like October 15th, you actually have the whole month. Okay. So you have whatever month your 90 day ends. If you're lucky and like your 90 day ends November 1st, you actually have the whole November to earn your $500 cash bonus. So just a heads up on that. So, okay, so how are we gonna get there? How do we promote your director, right? The basic is shows. So whether they're virtual shows, whether they're cooking shows, whether they're uh, fundraisers, catalog parties, freeze my workshops. I mean, guys, there's no cookie, cookie cutter way to do paper chef business anymore. Whatever excites you, if you wanna do all of them, if you wanna focus on one area, whatever works for you and your family and your business, just do it. Okay. So, or do a little bit of everything, whatever works for you. So the number that we definitely want you to have, the minimum shows you should have this month to just be in this program is at least four shows. And that's the lower end. Okay. But really eight shows, eight shows make you great. Eight does make you great. When you have eight shows a month, two shows a week, um, you're really going to be in front of enough people to book my shows. You're going to be in front of enough people to find other people that want to join your team. And you're going to be in front of enough people um, to sell, right? So we really have, it's a, it's a people business. So we just want to make sure that we are in front of enough people. So, okay. So what you want to do is if you don't have any shows yet is at least book four shows this week until our next call. If you already have four shows, Go for eight, go for four more, okay? Um, because there's always maybe one or two that reschedules or cancels, so we just wanna make sure we have enough. And if you don't know what to say or how to get bookings, um, we just had a booking blitz, so if you didn't see it, we can send you the link to it and you can just kinda go back and um, read over everything. And basically all you need to do is have contacts. Contacts contacts, contacts. A contact is only a contact if you have a two-way conversation with them, okay? So if I'm sending out 
a hundred Facebook messages and two reply, then I only had two contacts. Okay. And sometimes we might think, oh, you know, I asked everyone, but really write it down and don't keep asking the same people. Go out there and find new, new people. <laughs> and one out of 10 will normally say yes to booking a party. Okay, so don't ask three and they all say no and then be like, nobody wants to book a party. But remember that when you ask for shows, find something that excites you and make it about them, not about you. Don't think I need three shows, you need to help me, you need to do this for me. Think about more, what can I do for them that they want to have a show? Okay, so um, hey Susie, I know you love wine and I have this awesome wine, she's a chocolate party and would love to get your friends together. Can we make this happen? And don't ever end anything with let me know. That's like the worst thing. If I can give you one tip, don't ever end anything with let me know. Okay. If, try to end something with um, how can we make this happen? Um, can, will this work for you? Something where they don't just have to say yes or no. Erin, you had your hand up. Did you want to add something? I was going to add in, make sure you don't prejudge people when you're making your contacts. It's something that I really struggled with in the beginning, just assuming that this person was going to say no or that they were going to be annoyed by me reaching out to them. And you would be surprised how many people I've had that I didn't think would ever um, respond to me actually uh, followed up and I either got sales or a party with them. So, and it's the same thing for all of my teammates that we've talked to. So make sure that you're not um, projecting your doubts or insecurities on the people you're reaching out to and just reach out to everyone. Yeah, definitely. So positive thinking. If you're thinking, um, you know, nobody wants to have a party, nobody wants to cook at home, nobody's going to buy a paper chef, then those are the results you're going to get, right? Um, so basically what we want you guys to do this week is really work on booking shows because unless you have shows, we can't really help you because we can train you how to recruit people. We can train you how to sell a lot of goodies. We can train you how to book more parties. We can do anything unless we have fundamentals to work with, right? So really go out there this week and book four shows. And if you're struggling, that's what your director, that's what your upline is for. We can only help you if we know what's going on. So the homework will be to get more shows, at least four on your calendar for October to make that decision that October is going to be my month. So also don't wait for the perfect month. There's no such thing as a perfect month. Um, you just have to decide, hey, I want this, why wait? Let me do this now and go for it. And we've promoted plenty of people within 30 days. So don't feel like you need 100 days to do this. So go out there, book some more. Um, parties again we do have the booking blitz if you don't have the link let us know um, you can call people you can text people you can email them you can green dot them whatever way you want to contact them and if you're totally out of contacts and you don't even know who to talk to then book yourself some vendor events some fairs there's plenty of them out there now um, holiday bazaars all that stuff and we can tell you once you have one booked what to do during that one um, so I just quickly wanted to ask, uh, Jason, who, um, recently promoted to director to just kind of share his story, um, and maybe share, you know, how he decided that this is going to be what he was going to do. And, um, just so you guys can hear it from someone else as well. So Jason, go ahead. Hello. Um, so I started Pampered Chef in December of 2015. Um, I had been a host with Rachel Hansen for a few years. Um, prior to finding Rachel, I never could find a Pampered Chef consultant because every time I would go back to the one I'd hosted with before, they weren't selling anymore. Um, so there was a really good um, new consultant offer in December, um, and I really wanted the all-purpose pot. That was the, the special. And um, so I signed up with a holiday gift from my grandparents because I, like a lot of people, didn't have the liquid cash to invest in my, my kit initially. Um, so I signed up in December, um, somehow managed to sell $4,500 in January, <laughs> which I'm still amazed by. Um, and I made $1,100 my first month and was hooked. Uh, I was, I was like, wow, I could really make money with this. I initially had signed up because I love the product and I wanted a discount and free product. Um, so, you know, over the next 
six months. I never really joined thinking that I was going to be recruiting people. You know, I just kind of wanted to sell to my friends and family um, and kind of fill that market gap that I could never find a consultant in. Um, but like I said, the income really drove me forward. And um, this summer we had the uh, fall free for all where we could earn our, our new fall pre free products um, by hitting certain sales levels. And um, in June, it was like $6,000 was the, the amount to win all of the free products. And I was not getting anywhere near $6,000. And I was like, damn it, I want those free products. So <laughs> I was talking to Rachel the whole time. And, you know, I, I had enough personal sales to kind of make it within the realm of possibility that I could promote. I think I had three consultants at that point. And um, just collaborating with Rachel a ton, I was able to recruit four additional people in the last two weeks in June. Um, managed to get five of my consultants active and uh, we had I think 6100 in team sales uh, we did some miraculous three-day virtual parties for some of my older inactive consultants just to make sure that they were active that month and I promoted and I got all of the free product that I wanted <laughs> except for the rock rock um, but since then I mean my, my business has continued to grow my consultants are recruiting their own consultants and it like like Rose said, it's so rewarding to see other people building their business and being able to help them. Um, and it's, it's honestly not as hard when you have a team because you're not doing it all on your own. So when I was in my first couple of months, it was like hitting those sales numbers all by myself got a little overwhelming. But as soon as you start building the team, you know, you can lean on each other and, and help each other build teams. Um, and like I've told all of the people on my team, um, my, my philosophy with Pampered Chef was just say yes and do the best I can. So every time there was a training opportunity, every time there was a conference call, I would just call in and listen because you're absorbing so much information and you're able to you know, collaborate with all of these wonderful people on our team. Um, and, and I love it and I can't wait to, to see where my team keeps going. Awesome. Thank you so much for sharing. So we are like right on time. So we got five minutes. Um, so you, we do have some directors on. So basically, I'm going to open this up for questions. So um, and any director can jump in and answer as well. So do you guys have any questions, any struggles, any fears, um, anything you want to ask us? I did think of one more reward. Yeah. Got my little spoon. Oh, my, yeah, the necklace. You get jewelry. If you're a girl, if you're a boy, you get pins. <laughs> yeah, so you get this cute um, spoon necklace. Yeah, that's right. All right, any questions? I want to do some vendor events, and um, do I need to take a lot of products with me to sell, or where's the best place to learn about vendor events? Okay, we can definitely post some training. Um, I know I've done a couple of calls on them, but vendor events are really not to sell. Mostly it's to really get contacts and we can tell you how to get contacts and how to follow up with them. The fortune is really in the follow up with vendor events, 100%. And you don't have to have okay, your- That's good, because I don't- sell. Um, You can take the catalogs and you can have order forms and they can place an order with you at the event and you can go home and place it for them. Okay, I, one of my thoughts was I was going to set up a little uh, table at a vendor event to show the new products and some of the, <clears throat> the high-end products like the, the spiralizer and stuff. And then um, I was going to have, of course, the catalogs and order forms. Um, but I was also going to put a jug and have people um, fill out the thing, the thanks for joining us piece of paper and put in... <laughs> Tell them I'm going to have a weekly drawing to give three free shows a month or something and just call them all and schedule shows with all of them. Yep. So and all that, of them win. That's exactly what I do. Um, I, that's how I built my, built my business twice from scratch. Everyone gets a free show. And I can, I can post my script and um, the call I did on vendor events so you can get more details on that too. Jessica, you hey, had a Claudia. question? Oh, yeah. Go ahead. Claudia, it's Donna. Oh, hey, hey, everyone. Donna. I just wanted to, yeah, I just wanted to say hey to everyone and congratulations for investing in yourself in this program. We are going to, it's going to be awesome and um, commit to it because if you are serious about promoting to director, we can help you make it happen this month 
And we've had many directors, for the minute they've made that decision, they've promoted in 30 days. So believe you can, and we believe in you. I just wanted to say hi. We'll be in touch very soon. Great Thank job, Jason and Claudia, by the way. <laughs> Thank you. Um, I saw Jessica, did you wanna, did you have a question? No, okay. All right, any other questions, guys? Now is your time. You got two more minutes. No, okay. So who's ready, and you don't, you, you don't have to if you don't want to, but if you just wanna wave your hand, who's ready to make it happen this month? Okay. I would love to. All right, let's do it. All right, I see Erin is a little scared. And you know what? You can be scared. Do it scared, trust me. We do things all the time like scared, very, very scared, okay? But don't let that fear hold you back. There's no, um, you can't lose anything. You the really more that you push yourself out of your comfort zone, the farther you're gonna go. I, I mean, I, I can't think of anybody that's on the director team that didn't do something that was uncomfortable for them, but was awesomely rewarded, you know, by doing that. That's right. So, and if you have any questions, you know, post them on the page, share your success stories, share your ideas. Um, this is a big family and you're probably going to find if you're on these calls all the time, you're going to find people that you connect with. So go ahead, grab a buddy and say, Hey, you know what? I see you, you know, I see you have a baby. I have one too. Let's do it. Or I see you at work. I'm at work too, trying to do this while I work full time, you know, and pull people in because again, you don't have to do this by yourself and you probably can do it by yourself. You, we need our support system. So everyone go at it. We are here. We're so excited to um, help you all and see you succeed and see you jump out of that comfort zone, um, scared or not scared. And again, if you have any questions, just post them on there for free to message us or your director. And don't forget to call your director right now and say, Hey, I need weekly calls with you. Got it. All right, everyone, I will see you all next week.